Should the Cowboys bench Dak Prescott? That's the question. That's the poll question. And uh, Cowboys in a rush to move on from Dak. <laughs> That's a cold thumbnail. I'm just telling you, Smitty. He came in and ball, did he? Didn't he come in and ball last night? It's kind of he crazy. Solid. He was solid. He was solid for a guy that never plays. And, you know, no, no. I like really Cooper. I mean, that's my, oh, hey, hashtag no. Maxion. You know yeah. what I mean? No, don't get no reps ever. And then don't really get a lot of money. It's crazy how these motherfuckers just really go out there and overperform, underpaid. But then we got underperformed, overpaid, which is saturated the NFL. But anyway, let's just discuss this guy. Uh, Dak Prescott. I just got to ask you. He's been seen on the sidelines saying, we fucking suck. Uh, I mean, where are you at with this cat? You can't start Cooper Rush over Dak for multiple reasons. And one, don't, don't, say, don't say just because of the money, though. Just, let's, not, that's not the only let's reason, not, but that's one of the reasons. Let's try to avoid it. I, I, get the, I get the finances, but let's try to avoid that. And just but, no, but no, the biggest reason, I love Cooper. He's not better than Dak, though. It is with it. We've seen Cooper in previous years be in the start for the Cowboys for like five, six games and they, and they win. He's solid. But when you, when you match up what Cooper can do ability wise and what Dak can do ability wise, Dak is just a much better quarterback. It's a, it's a reason why he, why he's been the starter there. Cooper, Cooper Rush has been there for years. He's been there for years. He's had a lot, numerous opportunities to take over the job and, and prove that he's the better quarterback. I mean, you know, uh, that's how Dak got his start in the league. Tony Romo had that back. He back, broke his back. I believe Dak came in and balled the fuck out the entire season, and they said, "Hey, we're moving on with that." And, and Tony Romo ends up retiring, and, and, and the story, is, the story is wrote. So, I, if Cooper Rush was to really come in there and just truly ball out for the, for multitude of games and show that he's better than that, he would have got the starting job. Listen, as bad as it is in Dallas right now, I can't put it all on Dak. The defense is bad. Your two, your two best uh, pass rushers and Michael Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence has been have been hurt. Feels like all season long. Trayvon Diggs playing with, you know, but he was questionable going into this game with, a, I think, a hamstring or a leg situation. Uh, the running game is non existent. We saw right before the game that uh, Zico Elliott was a healthy scratch being left uh, at home because he's been having multiple team issues and showing up late. And, you know, they just, now to their, to their credit or, or to his credit, Rico Dowdle, the running back, he actually played decent last night. But overall, the running game is, has been non existent. As far as wide out, outside of C.D. Lamb, who else is doing anything? So, like, this is a team issue right now. It's not just that. He's the quarterback. He's the leader. He's going to get the most blame. He's going to take the biggest slice of blame. But at the end of the day, this is a bigger team issue that I think they need to blow this team up after this year and figure out a new direction, whatever that may be. But starting Cooper Rush over Dak isn't going to change things. It's not going to take you from – uh, tw- a twelve and five season, making the playoffs, winning a, a a potential you know first round game to going to the Super Bowl. You're not going to the Super Bowl with Cooper Rush. As much as I like Cooper, good backup, good service quarterback, a matching guy who I strip sacked in college, he's not better than Dak Prescott. So if you want to move on from that, go get somebody else, like from another team. Go go do a big time trade. Go go find a way to do that. But Cooper's not your answer. Well, guess what. That ain't your answer either. True. So, so that's what I'm saying. How do you know? We've seen Cooper Rush. Yeah. That, 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 one. That's he's how we know. One. We've seen him. He's five and one. <laughs> he's five and one. What are you guys? What yeah, are the and, and, right and, and, now? Hold on. That same season, Dak, what was his record? What was Dak's record? <laughs> like, we no always matter. say he's five what and one. What was Dak's record the rest of the season? Oh, wait, but, but what did they win? Uh, bottom line is, what did they win? Nothing. The same thing that they did with Cooper Rush. And guess how much money they could save. And guess how much better talent they could go get. But nobody listens to me. I understand the finances, economics of it. I get it. Quarterbacks are going to get paid, and it is what it is. I'm arguing just for semantics. I know it'll never happen. I'm just arguing for sake of the drill, as we like to say in coaching. For the sake of the drill, sake of argument, there's a multitude of quarterbacks on rosters right now that I would play coach and I know would want to be there and not have to pay these guys the absorbent amount of money to get nothing on return. Nothing. And I'm seeing it every single year. And I'm the one that started saying this shit four years ago. I'm that motherfucker. What's the movie? Uh, I, uh, Friday, wasn't it? The, the brother? 
God damn it, I'm that motherfucker. I'm just telling I'll you. Throw the motherfuckers at the- I, I, I I've been saying for four years, Smitty, and now all of a sudden cats are tagging me that Tom Brady's saying it and Greg Olson's saying it and all these guys. Motherfucker, I've been the only guy for four years, and now people are starting to understand it. And the bottom line is I'm looking at it like, come on, man. Like, where are we at with these overpaid under deliverers? And every single year they seem to drop like flies. One of them said they'll get hurt. The other guy won't fucking do this. One guy will hold out. We paid Deshaun Watson all this money. Now we got Jameis Winston. Anyways, we we went we we went from Tannehill actually going to the playoffs. Will they win everything? No. But then you go out and get these rookies. Malik Willis. He don't pan out. You get rid of him for a Chico stick. You bring in fucking Will Levis. What's he done? The Colts go out and get rid of you know we we know the debacle there with ever since Andrew Luck and Manning and all right. that. But then you go out and get a rookie who never even did anything in college, and now we're starting a 40-year-old. At the end of the day, the truth is in the pudding, and the proof is in the pudding. At the end of the day, look who's still playing and who you're paying. I didn't put out a shirt. Look who's playing and who you're paying. <laughs> like, you're paying somebody that's not playing, Smitty. At the end of the day, right. the return on the investment makes zero sense to me. Like, I just don't understand it. I don't understand the logic. I, I'm not that smart. I get it. I, I look at college football the same way. The president who got PhDs who hired uh, eight athletic directors with master's degrees, and then they don't hire the coach themselves. They go hire a search firm, a bunch of lawyers and agents who have not a clue what's going on on their campus with the recruits on campus, with their current roster on campus, who's the parent is, who they've dealt with, and they go hire some outside source. It's all bullshit politics, dog. It just doesn't make sense to me. You could hire a guy and pay him very minimal, get a great staff around him, a hungry guy that wants to go in and be hungry and actually do what the, the team likes. Dog, I bet you money you go around these rosters and ask them. They'll probably say, I, I would bet money that they would want I bet you if you go around and say, hey, man, who you rather have? The Browns would say Jameis Winston. And this is, I'm talking about this probably, they probably would have said this last year. Back, right. The Cowboys would say Cooper Rush. No, they wouldn't. They I'm wouldn't. telling you, they would, they homie. Would. I'm telling you. Smitty, listen. Smitty, I'm a guy. Smitty, I'm a guy. I'm a guy that sees action and I see energy when I, because I know as a coach, you got to be able to know these things as a recruiter. A lot of you guys in this chat won't understand it, and it's okay. I'm not even going to get mad about it. Bottom line is, I know what guys react to. When Cooper Rush went in the football game, I saw the Cowboys react totally different. They have hit a wall with Dak Prescott, dog. I'm just telling you, man. Let me ask you something. Since the thumbnail's Dak Prescott, what does he do that's, that's so much different and elite than Cooper Rush? He's he just better. Through. Like, I, I, right, I, I don't know if that's like a question. lazy like answer. I'm just saying, like, when I watch the tape, he makes more plays than Cooper Rush. I'm not I don't talking about so. in general. I, so. I know this is a bad season. So I know this season we're like we're, we're overreacting, we're panicking. But don't forget, literally last year season was probably Dak's best year of his career. It, it was the all it was his first all pro season. Ball the hell out, like throwing the throwing the ball all around the field. Making any throw, he's he makes more plays than Cooper Rush. Go look up Cooper Rush's numbers during that five that five and one run. Yes, they were winning because the, the defense was playing great. That was I think it was Michael Parsons. Might have been his rookie year. If really, I'm not all mistaken. that matters. He was matters. he was balling out. And I'm saying offensively, the Cowboys wasn't really balling. They were doing enough to win games. But Maybe, when that came to matter. the game, when that hold on, when that came to the game, the offense was elite. It was one of the best. It was top five, <laughs> top ten offense in the but game. But they didn't the win. They didn't That's, win. Well, listen, if the, again, the ultimate goal is to win the Super Bowl. I get it. But at the end of the day, one team does it every year. Just, so just answer got, this. Just so, answer so you got 30 some other teams who, go, who fail technically every single year. So at the end just, of the day, I get that. But also, if you're not going to win the Super Bowl, what's the next best thing? You want to be as good as possible. You want to win as many rushes in games. And you want to give your team a chance. I'm not saying Cooper Rush couldn't make the playoffs. We don't know yet, to your point. We don't know. He's never, he's never just been. Handed the keys and been the starter the entirety of a season, so we don't know. But we have seen enough tape to know that this offense is more explosive and is better with Dak Prescott compared to Cooper Rush. When you look at historically over the, the course of all the years of experience and all the years of tape that we've seen of Dak, 
and the games that we've seen with Cooper, Cooper's played a decent amount of games. Like, like, like it's not like he's some just backup who never played. He's played a decent amount of games. But we have enough film and footage on Cooper Rush to know like that he's limited and, and, and where and where he's at. We also I know right now it's, it's easy to, to go at Dak and it's 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 the it's the easy thing to say because they're playing so bad. But like our eyes work and the Cowboys offense has been better with Dak than it is Cooper. That just but the really team's good. not better. That's what you don't get. Quarterbacks help the defense, bro. Five and one help the defense. You can talk about numbers and stats. Stats are for losers. Stats mean deadly shit. I but watched the, the film. I watched the game, Smitty. But the Cowboys that year at least won 12 games. Let, let me, me look real you. quick and see Hold what. Hold on, but let me, like, let me I mean, you keep pointing out the five and one. You keep pointing out five and one. But I'm saying, what was the... What was the record with Dak too, though? Like you but can't just throw five and one. Like Dak, you got like you got like when Dak was in the game, they went three and seven, and then Cooper came in and saved the day. No, but Smitty, no, you got, like you Dak was like, winning games like, too. But you act like five and one don't catapult your rest of your year. Like, come on, man. Like, what are you talking about? The, the games mattered when he played. It's not like he went one and five and Dak came in. It's five and one. He started the season at five and one. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like it doesn't make sense. He didn't Deep start the back. season five and one. Dak went right. down, I think, with game three yeah. or whatever the case may yeah. be. Cooper jumped in, went yeah. five and one, and then Dak finishes the thing off balling. But again, that's one season. I'm saying Cowboys all the time. They win 12 games, 12 me, games, 12 okay. games. Hold on, 12 games. So I'm saying you're using one little five and one stretch to be like, see, that's my proof. I have more no. proof than you of no, Dak winning. Not. We don't have the games. Proof. That's winning the, the NFC East, winning a playoff game. Like, like we see, we act like I've seen him just, choke it off. Smitty. Guy who ain't one, one shit. That's not I've, true. I've seen him choke it off too. <laughs> like, here's the thing you haven't seen Cooper Rush, but you paid overpaid a guy $60 million to see the same shit over and over and over and over. That's my point. This guy, I can get to do the same thing. Let me ask you something. Dak Prescott, you say he's so much better. What does he do so much better? He doesn't run triple option. He doesn't run RPO. He doesn't run double option. He's a pocket passer who is a stiff, who is not anywhere oh, near. He oh, is nowhere. Come, Dak Prescott is a stiff, homie. Go look at the game. He can move around a little. Like, he, he, baby, he ain't just baby, he ain't the game. Bang, bang back there, baby, homie. Like, he can film, move baby. around a little bit. Pull up the film, baby. Pull up the film, Bailey. Let's watch this shit real quick. We got a little Dallas Cowboy film. We start the game off in 11 trips, all right? So we got a tight end. We're in three by one. Single receiver right here, one-on-one. -on -one. So we got no free access, Smitty. That means we got free access right here. What that means is there's no alley player in the alley, all right? So we can run a fade. We can run a slant. We can run an out route. We got isolation. Safety's in the middle of the field, okay? Safety's in the middle of the field. We got man free, Smitty. It's, it's man over here, man free, lock corner over there. Two linebackers, one on the tight end. I mean, one on the back if the back were to release to the left. One on the back if the back were to release to the right. So if the back goes this way, this linebacker has them. This linebacker, Smitty, is locked up on the tight end, okay? So we know it's straight man free. I mean, this is the most easy coverage to understand pre-snap than anything. And they drop a D end out. So guess what? I just told you, free access. And guess what Pittsburgh did? Drop the guy. So now Dak looks left, Smitty, to the field and turns weak and throws a ball blind to a dropping defensive end because he's lazy and doesn't even realize that Watt dropped. But why are you looking left when it's man free? I'm two on two, Smitty. I'm taking that all day long. Why are you going to the boundary and throwing blind? Look at his eyes. Lazy feet. Lazy eyes. He's a stiff. I'm just telling you, homie, this guy's not that good. We have overpaid a guy to do this. And I'm just telling you, I can't wait to get the Cooper Cup film, Cooper Rush film, and we'll show you last year's, two years ago's film, and this year's game. And, and I'm make sure we you. show the, okay, show the good and the bad of both then. Because like, no, I can easily go out here and point out uh, 10 bad plays from Cooper Rush. And be like, See, Cooper Rush, I, like, I, 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 I know that is football. Up. I didn't cut this I, up. Like I can show you a lot of film of Dak throwing that ball on time, yeah, accurate, looking people like people off. Like so, so I mean that, that yeah. goes both ways. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't cut this up. By the way, this is just I'm just running game. So just you see the you see if you watch the beginning, it shows you this the first quarter, first play. I didn't yeah. cut it up. Yeah. So this, whatever it shows here is what it is. So this is bad by the by the by the Steelers here. So this is good recognition by him. We got man and nobody bumps with them. This guy should have bumped with the motion. And then they would have bounced him 
he would have came over. He should have bounced. He should have rolled back. And then we would have had some sort of sky coverage here. They didn't. They The Pittsburgh Steelers fucked this up. Dak, rel, Dak sees it. Great job. All right. Make him. Make him. Ball, I would have threw the bitch already, but he throws this. Good good recognition. He threw it That's what he is. But I'm looking at the mechanics, Smitty. You, you act like this dude is like fucking big act. He ain't, no, homie. No, I'm not. not a that guy, but I'm saying I, I think the media no, I think I know. We go too far when we say, like, come on now. That, that I, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, there's nothing special, though. There's nothing that pops I, I, out. I agree on. with that. I, I actually agree with that. But that's I, why I I'm do. saying, so, Smitty, that's my point. Then why not go with a guy that's cheap? Like, what are you getting special? Is my whole point of this conversation. Is Dak better than Cooper Rush physically? Sure. Is he better for the team in the long term of things when it's a roster involved in it? When you've got to pay a lot of moving pieces? CD Lamb, you don't have a running back right now, Smitty, that's anywhere near a big time NFL caliber guy. You have an O-line issue. You got D-line issues. You got back row issues. You don't have any type of simulants of a real legit tight end. Like, there are so many missing pieces. You got defensive guys on podcasts who didn't even didn't even put Dak Prescott, Smitty, as their top 10 quarterback, their right. own teammates. And then you got a guy in, in, in Tavon Diggs called Dak Trayvon. Prescott. Trayvon Diggs called Dak Prescott a bitch in, in camp. A bitch. Happens. We broke Happens. it down. And you telling me that the team doesn't want Cooper Rush over him? I disagree. I think the team would take Cooper Rush in a fucking New York minute over Dak Prescott right now. This I think, I think if we were able to talk to any players behind the scenes, they may say they want another quarterback, maybe. They're not saying they want Cooper Rush over Dak. I don't That's believe it. That's who's on their team, Smitty. I'm just talking about Yeah, I know. And, and you got to go uh, with it. It's just like the election. You got to you gotta go with whoever you think is just, the best. Just like the Browns. Just Dak like the Browns. playing good right now, but yes. Cooper Rush. So let me ask you this. Do you think Cooper Rush, well, your honest, honest opinion, you think Cooper Rush start a whole season? Do you visualize based upon the film you've seen? You think Cooper Rush will ever be an All Pro? Yes or no? No. You think you think Cooper Rush will ever be an MVP candidate in, in the conversation? Yes or no? No. no. I, I know you don't. So all, so all I'm saying is I'm not saying Dak's amazing, but he's just a better option. <laughs> Come on, homie. Look, look at this dude. Look at this dude, though. Seriously, he looks like a fucking seventy year old, homie. I literally can throw this ball more legitimate, fundamentally sound than this. Like, his left foot's stuck in the ground for me. Like, he has a fucking... He is not that good. He's old and overrated, homie. I'm just telling you. My my, my point is... Let's, let's move on. My point is this. I don't need my quarterback to go to the to go win a uh, Pro Bowl and go win an MVP, homie. How many MVPs have won Super Bowls lately? Patrick I'll wait. Man. I'll wait. How many? How many has he won when he won the MVP? MVPs don't win Super Bowls. And Pro Bowl quarterbacks quarterback don't win Super Bowls. That shit's overrated, homie. Give me a guy that wants to be there. That the Let me ask you this, though. For. How many Super Bowls have been won by average quarterbacks? I'll wait. I'll Dude. wait on that, too, though. I'll, I'll, wait I'll wait on that, too, though. I'll wait on that, too, though. Flacco. Yeah, name him. We got... But, hold on, but you know what? Hold on. We know. We, know. We, 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 call, we call Flacco average, but if my memory serves me correct, in that playoff, the motherfucker wasn't average. Motherfucker look like uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the game, but you sure. That's my point. Flacco, that's my point. Foles, uh, that's why. The that's why. The Ravens always forget yeah. uh, Trent Dilfer. Yeah, like we can name the handful of guys, but yeah. on the opposite side, we know that most Super Bowls are won by you got to have an elite quarterback. Troy Aikman, Mahomes, Peyton Manning, Drew Here's Brees, thing, Tom Brady. Like, so I'm they saying this, quarterbacks though. matter. To, we, but they all have something, them. though. They all had something, though. Let's be honest. They all have something else, too. Like, exactly. Trent Dilfer is not winning without the defense. Either is Mahomes oh. in Kansas City. Either are these other guys. If you look at the great quarterbacks, they basically had to do it on their own. Even when Peyton won it, guess what? He had to come back. He had to make some major shit happen to win that Super Bowl, just like Brady had to do against Atlanta down 28-3. These guys have had to do something that other guys just can't do. On the flip side, the other guys who have won it have had everything go the right direction at the same time. They had a great defense. Special teams helped them. They had a call go their way. They had something. And they weren't Super Bowl MVP type of quarterbacks. They were guys that just managed the game that had great, like, what do I want to say? Aura. And you know what yeah, I mean yeah. when you're on the football yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. You got this fucking glowing thing that's going on. Everything's working right for you. Yep. Those guys had that. You don't need it with Dak. Dak's not 
Dak is, you can get a lot of guys to do what Dak's doing is my point. Let, let me just say it that way. A lot of guys could do what Dak's doing, and that's my point. 